Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michaela, aka I'm Gloria N. And today I'm gonna be showing you my acne sensitive oily makeup routine just a disclaimer here but i am not a makeup youtuber i'm just here to help anyone out who's having problems with putting on makeup who has acne skin who has sensitive skin and also who has oily skin and your girl here will feed you some information so you can have a very great makeup routine okay so let's get started first things first when i start my makeup routine i always start with um, cleansing my face i don't really use a cleanser in the morning i like to do my nighttime routine at night and then when i wake up i just wash my face with water and then i pat it down and then once i pat it down i actually start off with this moisturizer I love this set of moisturizer because honestly this is great for my oily skin and this prevents me from breaking out and this is also great for sensitive skin so if you haven't tried you guys should give this a try so i've already put on my moisturizer so next what i'm gonna do is put on my primer so the primer i really love using is this veil hourglass primer it's very costly but honestly this primer changed my life like it literally mattifies my skin and also it never breaks me out so this is great if you have really oily skin and you just want to mattify your skin this is also great if you don't want to wear makeup and you just want to have a bare skin like you can just use this primer so I'm gonna go ahead and put this primer on. And usually for the primer, I only like to put it in my T-zone area because that's where I really, really get shiny. I'm actually one of those people who really don't like putting primer all over my face because I feel like I don't really need it. Like I know I have blemishes all over and I should make it all even, but honestly, this primer, I only like to put it in my really T-zone area. And usually by now, like once I put in or put on my primer, I usually let it set for like a minute or two. So by now I would be going and getting my beauty blender and getting that ready. So I usually put this under warm water until it feels like a bounce kind of moist, I don't know, like squishy feeling. So the foundation that I really, really love and is really great for oily, acne prone, sensitive skin is actually Estee Lauder. I am right now currently in the shade 2W2 Rattan and I love this Estee Lauder. So it's a double wear stay in makeup place because honestly I can wear this for 12 hours and it doesn't even run. So this is what I love about it and it doesn't really get my oily um, skin or doesn't get my skin that oily throughout the day. So that's what I really love about it. Okay, all done with my foundation. So you can see here that I do have some blemishes. Like I have textured skin. Um, I have like a little zit here. I, ha I had like still an acne mark over here from like a big pimple that I had. But you can see that this foundation really covers up really well. It's very heavy as well, so I only try to use a very little amount of foundation, like a pea size is okay, or even, I don't know, like a quarter size, but quarter size is so, so much already. So I would say like a dime size, but yeah, this is the foundation. So next I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Um, so the concealer that I really, really love is by NARS. It's the Radiant Creamy Concealer. And honestly, this is my baby. And I forget which shade it was, but I think I'm in the shade medium or custard. And basically, this is really great for my under eyes and any blemishes that I have. And it's really great of hiding it. So I really love it. Okay. So next, I like to powder first just to set in all my primer, my foundation, my concealer, and I like to I like to look matte, so I usually set this guy in first. And if you'd like, um, what you I would do sometimes if I want to prevent my uh, makeup from caking or anything, I actually sometimes use my Urban Decay All 
all-nighter setting spray to set everything in first it makes me more comfortable especially if i'm gonna wear makeup for 12 hours so that it won't run so i usually put that in or because today i'm not really gonna wear makeup for the whole day i'm not but next i'm gonna set in my primer my foundation with the laura laura mercier um, translucent powder this has been my favorite powder for the past i don't know like three four years i've tried every other powder but for some reason this powder has just been the best for my acne oily prone skin it makes everything so matte at the same time it makes everything so natural so that's why i love and i still continue to just buy this powder this is like my only powder in my makeup bag <laughs> so let's just start putting this guy in So I let this, I actually don't press it in yet while I let this set onto my um, foundation and everything. What I usually like to do is do my eyebrows. So because I take so long with my eyebrows, I struggle so hard with it. And tip and a pro tip for you guys, make sure you guys get your eyebrows done before you do your makeup because it'll just look so much better and brighter. So the eyebrows that I or the eyebrow liner that I really love to use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Triangular Brow Pencil. And I'm in the shade, I believe medium, so medium brown. So I like to use this guy, so it's my Anastasia. And it's the one with this tip, this triangular tip, not the very, um, the triangular tip that I like to use and not the very pointy tip that everyone uses. So what I so I always struggle with my eyebrows here, but I always just try to follow the shade of my brow. So I need complete concentration. So let me start doing this guy. <laughs> okay, so that's it for my brows. I always go back and forth when I'm doing my makeup for my brows because I always think that they look hideous. So I, this is just like my first brow pencil in. And then later on, you'll keep seeing me that I just keep touching up my eyebrows because your girl here hates putting on eyebrows. Like this is the worst part of makeup that I really, really dislike. But anyways, the next thing I'm gonna do is get my beauty blender again and then set, like just press in all the leftover powder that I put on earlier. So this is what it looks like so far. Next for my makeup, what I like to do is I like to do my eyeshadow. Actually, wait, no. I actually like to define my eyebrows, although I'm not finished doing my eyebrows because I always fix it. I like to define it even more. So I actually use um, this, I don't know what brush this is, but I use this brush from like, I think it's from MAC that I've had for like many years. Maybe I should throw it out. And also um, I use this concealer from Maybelline and it's like in the shade 15 Fair Claire. And I really like using this to define my eyebrow because it makes my eyebrow pop. So next on the list is I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow. So I love using the Too Faced Just Peach um, Matte Palette. This is like my favorite palette because look, and then I also love using the Urban Decay Smoky Naked Eyeshadow Palette. And that's about it for my eyeshadow. Sometimes I just leave it like that if I just want to keep it natural and bronze. Okay, so the next in my agenda is I like to bronze and contour my face. So what I like to do is I like to use this NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. So this is my holy grail palette that I always use. And sometimes I use this bronzer thing called this bronzing powder. And I actually don't know where I got this from. I, my mom actually got it from Philippines. Shout out to my mom because this thing's actually so good and I love it, especially if I just want to define my cheeks even more. First is I use this fan brush. So I start off using um, this fan brush first for my cheeks and my nose. I like to contour first. Or sometimes I like to go in with this angular brush first um, to do my contour first. So actually I'm gonna start off with this first. 
Then I go in with my blush. So blush, I really don't know what these are, but <laughs> the blush that I use is this Bis blush. It's in the rosy pink color. And I really love this color. It's my favorite color that I ever use. I don't like having too light of a blush. I don't like having too dark of a blush. And so the rosy pink color is like my favorite. So once I'm done my blush, I go ahead and do more of my eye makeup. So currently I'm not feeling an eyeliner kind of day. And sometimes if I do, I actually use NYX eyeliner. So I love NYX's matte eyeliner. It's like my ultimate favorite one. It has like this kind of tip that I really like. And it's so, this application is so easy to use. So this is like the tip that I use. And it, it's it, it's real it's really easy to put on. So if you ha have a hard time putting on eyeliner, I think this is like the best one. And it's like a drugstore one, and it's so cheap. It's like I don't know, nine dollars, ten dollars, depending on where you are. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just do my, I guess, was my eyelashes. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes first. I actually use, um, I start off with going with the MAC Extended Play G -G Giga Black Lash. This is my favorite, most favorite mascara because I have really short lashes, but it really extends my eyelash eyelashes very well. And then to get a more vibrant and bigger eyelash look, I've actually just found out about this, but it's the Milk Kush Mascara. And honestly, I've been loving this so much for volume. And then after that, I like to set all my makeup because I have oily, acne-prone, sensitive skin and really oily skin. I like to set it with the Urban Decay All-Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So I just spray like a tea. And then once that's gone, I just take a piece of paper and I start fanning myself. <laughs> that's it for my oily acne prone skin sensitive skin makeup routine. If you have any other questions, comment down below. I'm also gonna put the description links or the links of the makeup that I use if you wanna reference any of these makeup. Again, I am not a makeup artist. This is based on my experience and what really works for me. I really hope this helps you guys out too because trust me, when you have oily acne sensitive skin, you just feel like nothing's gonna help and work on your skin. But honestly, once you your routine it's like magic anyways i'll see you guys next time bye i'm on a way like late michigan shorties out here playing playoffs first seed you deserve a jersey hanging from the nose please all up in the rafters